How's it going guys, Lad here and in today's video we're going to be looking at a demultiplexer IC uh, which will allow you to drive up to 16 outputs with only 4 pins from the Arduino or the microcontroller of your choosing. So the IC that I have on my breadboard is the SN74LS154N and as you can see I have a uh, setup uh, as a demo for you. So we're going to take a look at what this IC actually does. We're going to take a look at the hardware that we need to set up. Uh, I'm going to show you the demo with the push buttons and then we're going to jump into an Arduino example just to show you how you can utilize um, a simple Arduino program in order to drive your 16 outputs. So the connections that I've made on the breadboard are fairly simple to follow. I'm going to post a uh, pinout of the um, IC right now on your screen so you can follow with me so as you can see I've color coded uh, a lot of my wires so the inputs which are controlled through the push buttons are yellow the outputs are orange to go into the LEDs going through uh, current limiting resistors and um, yeah so power and ground are red and black respectively these are coming from the Arduino which are the only two pins uh, that I'm actually using right now um, so what is what does a demultiplexer actually do so it takes a binary a uh, serial uh, signal and transfers it into a parallel one so in my case I have everything all the push buttons right now uh, before they are pressed it is pulled low so picture this as zero 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 and in binary that is equivalent to a zero if I want to switch LED number one I would have to put in a one on the rightmost side so if I hold down one it will go to the next LED. Then you have followed by a two in binary. You have your three, you have your four, you have your five, and so on and so forth. If you press all of them, you will go to the last LED. So uh, by utilizing this chip, you you can drive, like I said, up to 16 distinct outputs, and that's extremely useful. And you can control this with an Arduino. You can control this with simple push buttons, any other microcontroller you can think of. And you can really multiply uh, the amount of uh, outputs you're going to be using. So it is extremely uh, useful, like I said. And let's take a look at the code right now, how it actually works, and uh, how we can program a four-pin output from the, uh, from the Arduino in order to drive each one of these LEDs all separately. So here's the code for the binary output. So as you can see, I've connected four pins on the Arduino, um, which are actually 9, 10, 11, and 12. In my setup function, I specify them being the outputs in the loop. We want to obviously cycle from 0 all the way to 15 in binary, so uh, just a simple for loop passing the actual number to a binary output function, which uh, cycle, cycles through the four uh, outputs, and depending on what it reads from the um, function call, it will toggle that particular um, bit to high. So if we verify the program, upload it to the Arduino, we should be able to cycle through each one of the outputs. And as you can see, it's doing just that. So uh, one by one, the LEDs are being turned on and the only pins that I have connected are pins 9, 10, 11, and 12 on the Arduino besides obviously the power. but like I've mentioned, it is a very easy and inexpensive way of driving multiple outputs. If you're running out of pins, if you need, um, I don't know, like to time outputs of different valves, different um, relays, if you want to toggle them one by one and you just don't have enough pins on the Arduino itself, you can either use, um, as we discussed, the shift registers or you can use this dedicated IC that's going to be uh, demultiplex uh, demultiplexing the um, serial input into a parallel output so yeah thank you guys for watching let me know if you're planning to use this particular chip in any of your projects and uh, once again thank you for comments thank you guys for subscribing uh, I've updated the forums on my website so please visit that and uh, as always I'm going to post this code as soon as possible probably by the end of the week on my website. So stay tuned for that and thanks thank you for watching once again.